Okay, hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode on Amnesia Machine for Picks. I was just testing out some new settings, different settings on DX Tori, so I, I walked a little bit and it's triggered a sort of cutscene. Nicey nice. Oh. The hell is in there? Oh god. But yeah, I was trying different settings on uh, DX Stories, so just because I know that they can run it can run a bit better. I'm just getting used to it still, but I think I think I just need a new hard drive that runs a bit faster than uh, than what my current hard drive does. Have they brought back the water monster? I'm not going in there anytime soon. Which is just full of shite. <laughs> Literally. But yeah, I'm getting a steady frame rate of 15 FPS, which isn't the nicest of frame rates, I've got to be honest. But uh Basically without recording that I get easy 60 FPS. I mean that's really easy for me to get, so. It sort of sucks that any type of recording affects it so much, so I'm, I'm just wanting it to get back to 60 FPS. I mean, uh, when I started recording with DX Tour, I was getting 60. Re oh. Oh no. 60 whilst playing and 30. It recorded in 30 FPS. Oh god, there's too many tunnels, there's too many tunnels, there's too many tunnels, there's too many tunnels. Jesus Christ almighty. Oh, I don't say. Oh, what? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, it's scary. Oh my god. Can I drain some of that water? Okay, so here I am in a sewage system. Oh, he sounds so happy, that water demon. Several of the older forms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is no film, and I am no Eli Eliyahu. At least not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. We cannot simply pack them about with a coolant as uh, we do to the centre where the door is. So later versions are kept safe at the freezing temperatures of those towers. Up here where the air is hot and fetid they become overheated and their jewelties tears them asunder as the other place flies from their tails and their, vita, their vitae splinters. They live sporadically, torn from one world to the other and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds, they are creatures of this world, then they are torn away and cease to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected areas sealed and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damned places now, the abode of failed experiments, ghosts of fear and spite. Which explains the, the water monster. I mean, I don't think the water monsters were actually explained in uh, the first one. They were just water demons. I don't think really needed explanation. Oh, I didn't see that there. Oh, right, well, that's. You're waiting for. That's not creepy in the slightest, my friend. Is he still in there? <laughs> I 
Yes, he is. Oh god, it's scary, it's scary! Do I have to go in there? Is that what that does? No, because that opens that. Can I not... Can I not drain more of the shit? Literal, general, genuine shit? Oh, fuck. Oh, hello! Where are you going, Mr. Piggy? Please don't interrupt me trying to fucking empty all this shit. Hey, what's down here? What are you doing over there? Can you get to me? Is this a place I've already been? I don't think it is. So let's, uh, oh, let's have a little look. Pardon me. Why does the light keep doing that? Is it because that's like... I don't even know. I don't even know what I was going to say. Pardon me. Oh look, that wasn't open before. Okay, so look. Where should I go? So am I, am I called Mr. Mandus? Is that is that who I am? Oh fucking hell! All right. Well, I'm getting a very bad recording frame rate. I hope it's not lagging for you guys too much. But it, the game is running fantastically for me at the moment, which is a bit weird. Uh, and as I said, look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, yes, daddy, yes, we see it. A tall wooden cap of steep, steep-sided steep pyramids like those of Egypt, stone falling away from the stomach, vines crawling about, <coughs> finding the uh, stucco serpents that thrive about the steps. A palpable sense of stillness. Oh wait, forgotten and this here. This is where the king, the king sat, and this is where the priest lived. His house. This is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, this is where they threw their hearts, and they were not consumed. No, my darlings, they were. They most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky could fall on their heads, and they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happening. Perhaps, my darling, perhaps they were mistaken altogether, or perhaps their tragedy was they could simply not spill enough blood to prevent the sky from falling upon them. Alright, so my my frame rate steadied out a little bit now, and which sort of sucks. Boom! Drain the shit! Drain all the shit from there! We don't need your shit! What's down here? Oh, nothing. We don't need no shit among us. Oh no, that's uh, documents. Uh, the flood. My mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. To descend further, I'll have to find the local sluice pumps to drop the water. The smell is almost unbearable. It makes me gag. Why should Sabato have flooded the tunnels, though? What did he hope to achieve? Mandus post. Delu that's done it. Now I can enter strange decontamination chamber once again and move onwards. The waters are pushed back, making the way to the bilge clear. I can divide the remainder of this filthy torrent back into the Thames where it belongs and clear the path to the centre of the machine. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's go towards this then. 
Jesus Christ Almighty! All oh, right. Oh God. Oh, sorry. What do I do? Oh, I close that, I think. Do I open this? What did I do before last time? Did I turn this on first? Oh, no, you push it. Derp. Alright, so i got to close that. Turn this on. Which will decontaminate me. And then I gotta open this door. And then turn this off. Woot woot woot! Jake is boss. Oh my god, look at them! Go on! <laughs> that was one fat ass pig, man! Oh, look at them all! My journal. Dear God, a whole nest of those farm creatures. No mind, my instincts have drawn me this uh, far, and I am sure somewhere in this dank complex is a means of further descent. I will not see their faces as they go about their dark business, and yet, and yet, I watch them sleep and eat and play, and they are so very human, so very childlike, and I will think, not think of what I have seen, of the chairs and the cages, and I will not think of how such monsters may be sculpted. I think you're the dude who created them, man, so... I think he did, Mandus. I have a strange feeling that this is where some of them are actually kept. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that! Can I open it? I think this one's good with Rubik's Cubes or something. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'll just, uh, I'll leave you to it, buddy. There you go. Can I open all of them? No, it's just one of them. Oh, dear. Some of them are acting different to others. Oh shit. <laughs> Aww, piggy! You okay, man? Oh, I feel horrible now. I just made that piggy fall. I'll lock you in there, mate. Hey! You okay up there? I'm just gonna assume you're not okay. Alright, uh, next room. You can hear him smelling away at me. Or something. Alright, where are you, Mr. Dude? Whatever your name is. Let's climb down. 
It's gonna close, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, fantastic. Now, what the hell would that be? Ah! I was trying to jump over. I hurt myself. Oh! Here I go. So far down. So, so far down. Whatever it is, that does not sound good. My god. Just keep climbing, just keep climbing. What do we do? We climb, we climb, we climb. Just keep climbing. This looks like we're about to hit the floor. Let my body hit the floor. Alright, so where are we? We're in a sewage? Is this what we intend on doing? Just going further and further? I thought we were in here anyway. Alright, so a big door that leads into another area. From tie to spine. And who is that third? That shadow. That spirit child in the background. That barely formed. That changeling. That almost lived. That never missed. Strange. Alright, well, we've got a little bit further in this now, guys, so I think that will be a good end to the video. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Rate and subscribe for Tea and Biscuits, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out, guys. See you later.